Hello and a very warm welcome to the Creative Exchange interview room. Today I am joined by Joy and Tim Watson um, and these guys have for what three four years? Three years. Been pursuing um, a God-given dream so I thought well why don't we just start by you guys telling us what the dream is, um, tell us a bit about your journey um, to pursuing the dream and how you discovered it. Okay, okay. Good. We're, well, it's a long story, but we won't give everything away. Short version. Short version. Um, we bought a farm in the valleys. Uh, we were looking for somewhere, we've lived in Cardiff all our married life. Mm. So uh, we were looking for somewhere in the valleys um, and we're looking for about 10 or 20 acres, I would say. And then uh, just God's blessed us with a substantial number of acres in a farm, which we've had to rebuild because it was rubbish. And uh, just given us such a, a bigger vision than we ever thought we had. We thought we had a big vision. Yeah. And then we got this place and we thought, my goodness. We're going to have to up our game here because, you know, you, you think you're being big and then, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like the dream didn't just come one day. I think it's probably been taking shape probably over all our lives, actually. Because um, we, we were talking <laughs> a little bit about heritage and legacy as well, um, as we were thinking about talking to you guys today. Um but, but it's like, so different parts of our, our journey through life has kind of, it's like bits more have been added. And so we, so we had this dream that seemed quite nice. You know, we wanted a, a farm in, uh, sorry, a property in the country with some land that we could host worship and other creative events and maybe uh, th other things, um, retreats. Hmm. But, but... Yeah, it, it kind of grew, and and like where we've ended up, it's it's such a god thing, such a because we would never have chosen this place probably if we'd seen it mm. like an estate agent or whatever. You cried actually the first time. Yeah, you cried. <laughs> so when we went to see it, and and it was it was total a god setup because Tim had had a dream, and then um, and we'd had a prophetic word as well. So there was a, kind of a few things came together, yeah. and then. Um, the estate agent rang us. We never had a call from a estate agent, and um, so uh, we we went to see this property, and I loved it. I, I just thought it I was cried. great. I said you cried because it was awful. It was so horrible. It was so horrible. I could see absolutely nothing nice about. It. And it's one of those kind of properties that they there were no pictures on the estate agent's information. You, I mean that always kind of rings alarm bells, no doesn't it? When there, yeah, no internal pictures. Sorry, yeah. So there were kind of pictures of hills and sheep, yeah. but no <laughs> pictures of the house and yeah. what was inside. And I got there, and I was like, I can't live here. This is terrible. <laughs> and um, so, I, and I have a little little rule oh, yeah. through our married life: if if joy doesn't go along with it, then it's you know, even if I feel God has said, it's it's got to be joint. It's, you know, joy needs to go along with it. So mm. my prayer is often, Lord, you've got to convince joy. If you want this yeah. to happen, you've got to convince joy because I'm not going to go without her. Yeah. So, and that's what happened. Yeah. And so we went to see it in the May mm -hmm. and it probably took May, June, July, or took three months mm. for me to kind of come around and go like, I think, I think this is actually from God. This, yeah. this is the thing. So, uh, so so, what's the dream for yeah. the farm? <laughs> Let's be specific. Um, well, we always started out with uh, we want to have a worship space. So we always had the idea, I think we always had the idea of having a space that we can worship, explore worship and prayer ministry. We won't do 24-7 to start with, but we might try you know, maybe a Friday night through to Saturday night type thing. So exploring what it means to, you know, host worship and intercession. Mm. Um, and 
Uh, alongside that, we want to farm it. We've got too much land just to you know, leave it go. So we will farm it. So there'll be a productive way. And I suppose what our heart is to have a really, uh, really good quality produce coming off the land, be mm. it uh, a cattle, sheep, uh, vegetables, um, you know, salad crops, whatever it is. So if you're eating some of our produce, bring a bite produce, it's going to have real quality mm. about it. And then, uh, because we've got so much land, we'd just love to invite others to explore their creative dreams on yeah. there. So we're already working in partnership um, with a couple of guys who are, uh, they're setting up some polytunnels. Okay, who are they? They're in one of the fields, um, sort of just down from the farmhouse. What are they? Uh, they're they're polytunnels, which is a, a plastic they're what greenhouse. The people you mean to you? No, like what are po polytunnels? Polytunnels, yeah, a plastic oh, yeah, greenhouse. Yeah, like a greenhouse. Oh like wow! A kind of a, a domey thing, and you, yeah. you grow things, and Salad. there's fish, and there's okay. poo, fish poo. Bet that was super new to you guys, though, like moving from the city. Yeah. Yeah, these kind of concepts Although must have we, felt really alien. But we we had thought about aquaponics before. We talked about it, hadn't we? And so yeah. we're going to be working um, with a project from Cardiff and a couple that become really good friends of ours, and they're yeah going to be working with asylum seekers and refugees and mm. growing produce. So so that's already Brilliant. in process. Um, so that's that's cool. Sure, that's really cool. I, I think one of the things that we want to just try and protect is you know we've got some we've got some good ideas right they're great ideas well it sounds like it right? but but they're not complete so it's it's all the time when you hear god's voice or when you have a prophecy or a word or something like that you think okay i know what that means when it comes to reality mm -hmm. it doesn't always fit what you thought it was so we want to be trying we want to be careful to try and uh, not hold things so tightly yeah. that there isn't that f flexibility. Yeah. So we we have our own ideas. We want to see certain things, and we we are like the mum and dad in terms of we set the vision, the values, and you know the space. Yeah. And then within that space, we can have lots of people come and say, okay, well I think we fit in with that. Mm -hmm. We'd like to try. You know this project or that project yeah. or the other project so we can accommodate that and you know so we don't want to define it too tightly such that it becomes fossilized mm -hmm. we want it to be living breathing organic if you like so yeah so it's kind of interesting because it's like this is this is our dream but it's not like set in concrete it's emerging mm -hmm. and evolving and has been for a long time but i think what feels really exciting is that it's going to intersect with other dreams that God's put on other people's hearts that they're thinking, how are we going to do this? Or where are we going to do that? Yeah. So we were already talking to different people and they come along and we're, well, we're thinking about doing this. And we're like, well, you know, we could, we could do that. And, and some of it will come to pass and some of it won't come to pass. And that's, that's fine. But it's like, it's an emerging dream that lots of different people are going to be a part mm. of, I think. And that feels really exciting. And I think the other thing is that um, we will probably not fulfill everything that's on our heart. Yeah. So we're also thinking legacy. So we're also thinking in terms of, um, you know, it, this could be so big that it's, we will not get to the end of it. It might yeah. take uh, our it children just or, around our, the edges. or our spiritual children to actually do yeah. this. So already we're thinking long term. And that that is good because it means we don't kill ourselves in the process. So, and if we haven't quite finished, it's okay because somebody else will take the baton right. and run with it. Yeah. And mm. that's, I think that's important. But there, there's some yeah. like little kind of side things to the dream. So the dream is a bit about having this space that is a place where God's kingdom is and his presence is felt and people come and encounter him and um, very holistic I think yeah. so often you, you've got a project that's a very overtly spiritual but I think we see this as being like much, much broader than that so mm. there'll be there'll be the spiritual 
uh, for sure. But there'll also be the um, like the growing food and the farming, which is much more kind of physical and practical, mm. and um, and emotional. You know, hoping to run retreats, and uh, it's a place where people can come and get not just physically healed up by being in the space, but emotionally yeah. healed up as well. 